Hey everybody, we're back for 2.2. So let's get started. Last time we went over 2.1 where we introduced the different types of plate boundaries. We talked about a little bit of the evidence. Today, let's talk a little bit more about earth, but this time we're gonna talk about weathering, erosion, and sedimentation. As always, take out that ACE Marine syllabus for, from Cambridge and go ahead and follow along with the learning goals for 2.2. Remember, that's expected that you know all of those learning goals by the time we get to our ACE Marine exams at the end of the school year. So let's first pay attention to what we need to know for 2.2. 2.2 is weathering, erosion, sedimentation. So we're talking about weathering, we need to know what's going on with weathering. Erosion, we need to know what's going on with erosion. And then sedimentation. All three of these key terms that we need to know play a part in the type of shoreline that is created and how the shores, um, different types of shorelines are formed because of weathering, erosion, and or sedimentation. So let's first talk about weathering. So weathering, you think, okay, what is weather? Weather is when it rains, when it snows, right? So let's think about weathering as a breakdown. It is a process. So when we think about weathering, it's the breakdown with this could be chemical, physical, or organic. Chemical, that's going to be any sort of chemical composition that changes. So if something rusts, that's going to be a change in that composition. So anytime something changes chemical composition. Then we think about physical weathering. Physical weathering is the movement of water over something, like if we have large pieces of rock, right? Large rock breaking into smaller pieces because water is running over that rock, like in a river. And then we think about organic weathering. Organic weathering could be because of plant growth. So if a plant is growing in the side of a rocky mountain, it's going to break down pieces of the rock in order to implant its roots. Erosion. Erosion is going to be the movement. So movement from one place to another. There is ice erosion, water erosion, wind erosion, and gravity. Ice, when ice piece of pieces of a glacier may break off and move to another place because it floats in the water. That's going to be ice erosion, movement of ice from one place to another that's carrying sediment. Water erosion is going to be like a stream or a river carrying pieces from one place to another, minerals and also other pieces of um, rock and sand. Then we have wind erosion. Think about when you're standing on the beach and you feel the sand hitting you, right? That's an example of wind erosion because the sand is moving from one place to another. So anytime you're standing outside and there's any sort of wind and you feel small pieces hitting you, that's a type of erosion, that's wind erosion. And then finally, gravity. Gravity is when we have large pieces of rock falling from one place down to another. So if there is an avalanche, that's an example of gravity erosion. Finally, sedimentation. Sedimentation, we're gonna think settle down now. So sedimentation is the settling down. That is the depositing of rock in a different location. So after weathering the breakdown comes erosion, the movement. And finally, when that new rock settles in that, or that old rock, I guess, would settle into that new location, that would be an example of sedimentation where the gravel, the minerals, the rock is settling in a new location to, to that gravel. Now, sedimentation speed, very small particles are going to settle slowly because if water is constantly moving, that means those small particles are going to stay suspended because they're light. But larger particles, like larger pieces of rock, they're going to settle a lot faster. So even in quickly moving streams and rivers, quickly moving water, those large rocks are going to settle a lot faster than small sediment pieces. Alrighty, so that's weathering, erosion, sedimentation. And then of course we went over the different types of weathering, erosion, and sedimentation. Please remember that you need to look over those learning goals, make sure you can answer those questions. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.